Hello man of word, we'd truly appreciate that you joined us. We are glad that we can support you in your further development. Today's topic is about five lessons that everyone should learn from Donald Trump. So, let's begin. Welcome to amanoford.com, the most refreshing network in the business world. Why should you pay close attention to this? 1. You will understand why desire is limitless. 2. You will learn that it is necessary to stand for something. And 3. You will understand that nothing can keep you away from success. Trump was born and raised in Queens, a borough of New York City and he is the 45th and current President of the United States. Before entering politics, he was a businessman and television personality with a net worth of 2.5 billion US dollars. We've selected 5 Donald Trump lessons that are relevant and helpful, so let's dive in. Lesson 1, Be Willing to Take Big Challenges and Risks Trump forged on in his campaign regardless of the odds, the naysayers, and the potential of hurting his company. He doubled down at every turn when no one in their right mind would. Now in full disclosure, I didn't exactly vote for the guy, but I have to admire his ability to dream big. Really big. Imagine where you would be if you took your dreams to the next level too. Also, he didn't let fear dictate his course. No major achievement, for Trump or anyone else, happens without risk. Before you make a list of all the things standing in your way, consider the results if you do succeed. Then ask yourself if those risks and obstacles are worth it. If the answer is yes, make another list of smaller achievements that lead up to the big one. Now break down of how you are going to accomplish those smaller tasks. Lesson 2, be relentless, but in a good way. Just like Trump, you are going to run up against people that don't share your vision. That's okay, don't let them stop you. Never let anyone or anything get between you and your dreams. Ever. Focus on your goals, being tenacious and delivering results, and let your skills speak for themselves. Just make sure you do it with love and kindness. Walking over people to climb to the top will hurt you in the long run. Lesson 3, Push and Pull Communication Hardly a day goes by that Trump doesn't say something mildly, or completely outrageous on Twitter and, whether you agree with him or not, he gets plenty of attention for it. He uses it to deflect attention from what he doesn't want people talking about and attract them to what he wants them to focus on. For example, turning people's attention to Obama's supposed surveillance of him before the election, rather than saying anything about alleged Russian involvement in the 2016 election. It is clear no one is controlling his Twitter feed for him, he speaks directly to his followers and they respond. Not always positively, but as I said, he is Marmite. Whilst I cannot advocate that companies are quite so blatant in their social agendas, sticking your head above the parapet on occasion and speaking with your authentic voice will reap social media rewards. Rather than promoting that software product, again, say something relevant. Relevant to your customers, relevant to the news, relevant to what you want people to think of you. Be you, communicate authentically and remember that whilst not everyone will agree with you, that's not always a problem as long as you are remaining true to yourself and your brand. Lesson 4, focus on one or two areas to achieve success. The recent successful political campaigns such as Donald Trump's and the Brexit campaign focused on one or two key issues that matter to people and continually reinforced these messages time and time and time again. They were relentless about them and eventually those messages stuck with people. What are the key issues which matter to your customers and how does your business solve them? If you can identify these issues and then reinforce them again and again then they will start to sink in and your customers will come around to your way of thinking. Be careful though that you then can follow up on the promises you make. As we have seen with Brexit, people who say they can do or will do something and then are found out to be liars can see their reputation being harmed which is then very difficult to get back. Lesson 5, Stand for Something I am not a fan of his views but what Trump did was to stand for something. His views about building walls and banning different religious groups were outlandish comments to make but whatever you think about them, he had the courage to stand up and say what he thought. I know from my own experience in business that acting in the same way as everyone else gets you the same results as everyone else. To be successful you sometimes must go out on a limb and say what you think. There will always be people that disagree with you and may not even like you for saying what you think but there are many who will respect you for having the courage to say what you think in the first place. As a bonus for you, we've selected 5 things that you didn't know about Donald Trump and will help you further to get a little more motivation. Fact number 1. His family's name was originally Trump or Trump but changed to Trump when the 30 years war occurred in the 1600s. Fact number 2. Trump has said that he decided to abstain from drinking alcohol after seeing its effects on his older brother Freddie, whose alcoholism led to his early death at the age of 43. Fact number 3. 
In 1989 Trump teamed with the Milton Bradley Company to release a board game called Trump, the game, which shared some similarities with the popular real estate board game Monopoly, the Trump-branded game saw disappointing sales and was soon retired, though it was re-released 15 years later after Trump had found increased fame as the star of the reality television show The Apprentice. Fact number 4. Donald Trump made his bones or made his first really big real estate deal happened in Manhattan with the remodeling of the Grand Hyatt Hotel in 1978. Fact number 5. His first real estate venture was with his family's company, Elizabeth Trump & Son, where he was given control of in 1971 and renamed at the Trump Organization. The project ended up in controversy when the Justice Department in 1973 accused the company of discrimination, admitting no wrongdoing, an agreement between the company and DOJ was struck to resolve the issue. What are the best things to remember from this article? 1. Be willing to take big challenges and risks. 2. Desire is limitless. And 3. Big goals are big until you made them a reality. Because we get to the end of this, we want to know, what is your favorite fact about Donald Trump? And what is the most valuable lesson that you learned today? Until next time, thank you for watching until the end. And if you found this helpful don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell button to be notified for every new learning opportunity. And always remember man of word, be aware of the person that you can become.